Hi, it's Tom with the Protection Dog Glossary. These are various tugs, uh, also known as uh, toys. Uh, you'll see different names for things, but I just want to go over some of them uh, with you. Uh, and, and you might wonder why I have so many different ones. Uh, why wouldn't one good one just last forever? Well, the, uh, there's a topic called toy bias. Uh, when you're teaching a personal protection dog to bite, and these are typically used in bite training and tug of war, you don't want the dog's mouth to get only comfortable on one surface. So this happens to be called a jute tug. Uh, this is a rope tug. Uh, this is a fire hose type material. Uh, these are leather tugs. This, I don't know what this is. It's a softer tug. It might be more for puppies. Um, so you want a variety of uh, biting surfaces so that the dog, uh, when it comes time to protect you, doesn't decide, oh, gee, oh, that doesn't taste right like my normal toy. I'm not going to bite this guy or girl. You don't want that. So that's called toy bias. Um, but these are leather tugs. These are skinnier. Um, some are longer than others. See, this is a longer one. Now this is, uh, if you're beginning working with your dog, you might want to use a longer one because you're not that good at giving the dog a target. You know, really the best thing is right here so the dog targets exactly. However, if you stink as a handler and not experienced, you're going to go like this sometimes and the dog is going to hit your hand here. You're going to go like this, the dog will hit your hand here. And uh, it, it doesn't feel very good, let me tell you. I know from experience. So uh, start out with a longer one. Uh, you want to be able to immobilize these things so that uh, the dog will out or quit biting when you tell them. So that's one thing. Uh, and the longer ones, if you're holding on to the handles, that gets a little tough. But, but if you're just tugging, doing tug of war, you can hold on to this handle and the dog will just flop all over the place with you. So, so anyway, these are various types of toys. Oh, this one has uh, kind of like a, uh, if you can hear this, uh, it's got kind of like a, um, empty water bottle in it. Now some of these you can replace the insides if the dog eventually destroys the, the innards of them, so you can buy them like that too. So a uh, nice variety, some have one handle, some have two handles. Uh, again, this is a ball on a string we showed you in another video that still can be used as a toy and a tug. So uh, get a variety so your dog uh, does no bias to any one surface over the other.